What is poppin' poppies? My name is Cinevin and welcome to They Are Here. Who are here? How are here? All of these questions and more will be answered because they're right there. They're behind you. They're here. Or they're not, you know. Maybe it's just a video game and we're looking way too far into it. Unexplained phenomena occurred at Grayswood Farm on the night of August 7th. The Sherman family witnessed bright lights in the sky that moved at breakneck speed over the cornfield. The lights moved in random directions and at different speeds. After a while, they vanished. This strange behavior in the sky was observed at the same time each night for five nights. According to the <laughs> five nights at Freddy's reference, I like it. According to the owner of the farm, all the animals went crazy. The dog became aggressive, tried to attack and bite him. Bit him. Oh, it bit him. The children complained that someone was walking under their windows. Farmer Peter Sherman became, uh, no, he didn't become aggressive. Farmer Peter Sherman himself in the field saw a strange figure that did not look like a man. What is it? Deliberate deception? Drawing attention to oneself? Or a sensation about an alien invasion? Journalist Taylor Fox travels to Grayswood Farm to take a photo and make a report for the local newspaper. I am Taylor Fox. That is me. I am a uh, journalist. And I will find the picture of this alien. Well, I find the alien and I'll take a picture of it. And I'll take its love. I don't know why I said that. That was very odd. Can we just start the game so we can escape this conversation? All right, perfect. Whoa, looks like a new place. Task, talk to Farmer Peter Sherman. That is one of my tasks. Journalistic integrity is my number one priority. Prior, prior, um, priority, ooh. Hello, strange lights in the sky. I will take a picture. That'll look great on the uh, bulletin board of the... Uh, uh, where do we work? Uh, the, 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 day, the Daily Planet! That is where I work. My name's Clark Kent. Nice to meet you. I am the... Looking for something. An alien! I'm an alien. I don't know why I'm forgetting my job at all. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm Superman. I'm, no, I'm not Superman. I'm Clark Kent. Forget I said that. I, I'm not, I'm not Superman. I'm just mild mannered Clark Kent. Journalist at the, uh, the Golden Globes. I mean, the, the, the Daily Planet. And I'm here to find an alien and take a picture of it. Which is funny, because I'm also an alien. Hello, Mr. Fox. We made an appointment, but something happened. Our daughter went missing. My wife went to the town for help. My son and I went to check out the farm. We'll leave notes for you and the police in case we pass each other so, <laughs> so peter sherman p.s be careful i will keep note of that put it back he's just gonna write notes is that that doesn't seem efficient looking for your lost daughter i will inspect the house using my x-ray vision just kidding i won't let anybody know about that hello phone oh i can call hello can i can i oh i can zoom in with my super eyes phone hmm appears to be made of lead can't use it all right fine moving forward what's inside the fridge anything of no oh, just just, I didn't really want the pictures. Kind of wanted to see if there's any food in the fridge. Can we make a word out of this? H E N A R here. Well, near <laughs> or hen air or R R Renee. That's that works. That works. Milk. I love milk. What do we have here? Newspaper. I can read the newspaper. Let me get something about aliens, mysterious sky objects seen here in Orono. All right. Yeah. I, I, what, oh, what? What is going? Stop it. Stop. Can't do shit around here. Apparently my super strength is really messing with this uh, newspaper. I'm too strong for everything. Hopefully there's nothing outside. Nothing outside. No aliens. No Martian manhunters wanting me to uh, help them in their Justice League. <laughs> Not that I'm a superhero or anything. My name's Clark Kent. I'm just a mild-mannered news reporter. This is a fire extinguisher. <laughs> Uh, Hogwarts. I can't read that. It looks like it says Hogwarts on it, though. Hello, hello. Things, things, and more things. So, looking about, finding any aliens. That's a really nice line for you out there. I like the, I like the arc. What's going on? Why can I not move? Uh, oh, okay. Oh, I thought there was kryptonite in that door or something. This door, oddly misdarkened. Oh, it's the dog. That is a, what the, why is the dog of arms? Oh, wait. <laughs> Sorry, it's the way that lighting makes it look like the dog has human arms. Interesting. I do not like. Hello, hello. Any licorice? No, nothing. Okay, fine. More pictures. More pictures because uh, pictures are cool. You know, people have that around the house. What am I doing again? Oh yes, looking around. So I'm assuming I gotta try these doors. See if there's anything behind them. How do I? Oh, it's front. It's okay. I got it. The daughter's room. Oh no. Well, well, well. Looks like she climbed out. It doesn't take a megurn. Meg. <laughs> Just fix your fix your writing there, Lamb. Ma'am? Uh, what is this? Oh, god damn it. No, stop moving. Stop! I mean, okay. This is my daughter's room. During the night, I heard a strange noise. When I came in, she wasn't in her bed, and the window was wide open. I'm sure she was abducted by those things. And instead of, you know, running after her immediately, I decided to write this note that took probably a long time, considering all the alliteration and handwriting and amount of words. Oh, child's drawing. 
Oh, it's a little alien. Oh, I'm not going to judge. Maybe it's just a very thin man. I mean, just looking at the picture, she's the one who looks like an alien. Look at those eyes. All right, what do we got? More toys? I don't really like the arrangement of your bed, ma'am. Kind of looks like it's not very form-fitting, if you ask me. Oh, yes, a radio. Ah, oh, we can talk to her. Apparently, it belonged to the missing girl. If you listen closely, you can hear very strange sounds. You guys hear anything? I don't hear anything, and I got super hearing, so <laughs> I call BS. Bull honky for short. Okay, um, anything else of, um, you know, importance? Any jump scares? You can't scare the man of steel, though. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nice one. All right, um, can I mess with the letters? Can I climb up there? Can I do anything that does seem like I should be doing in a, this case scenario? No, no, looks like we're just gonna leave. I don't remember closing this door. You know, to each his own. Hello, hello, walking through, walking by. Don't mind me, just walking through. So I was really close to the camera. I just wanted to make sure I was still in frame, you know, so you guys can see my beautiful face. Did the camera just shut off? I heard a sound and I got a little angry there. Hello, shoes. That's a weird place to put some LeBrons. Are those LeBrons? I don't know shoes. I'm not a shoe guy myself, so don't really know. Oh, a computer. We'll come to that last. Hello, aliens. Cool, cool, you know, very, uh, very picturesque, very, uh, oh, that's a an unsettling image right there. Printed photo. Photo from the internet! Yes, because the internet is very trusted. And you can always make sure that everything on the internet is as it is. No, no tamperment, no nothing. All right, uh, what do we got more? Oh, Farmer's Children's Diary. That is not a children's diary. Find my old diary, how could I forget that? What, who, when? Wait, no, you wrote what twice, dude. Nobody asks how the, why do I have a camera? Why do I have a camera? Oh, okay, here. There, I took a picture of it. That's a really blurry picture. But <laughs> great material for the news report. Lois Lane will love this. Maybe she'll finally fall in love with me. And I can tell her that I'm a Superman. But I can't let her know. It must rem- Hello? Uh, aliens? I am uh, coming in pieces. Peace, peace. I prefer to be in one piece. Hello? Anything? Nobody. I'm just gonna walk around and act like nothing happened. Nothing happened, right? <laughs> well, it is dark. I am fumbling for the light. F. I have a flashlight. This is very scary. Why didn't I check the PC before any of this happened? Um, okay, cool. Pizza? For me? No, it's empty. It's empty. Uh, what do we get here? <clears throat> God, there's a lot of words here. I've learned a lot about these things. They're called the greys. They're not little green men, but big, creepy, and dangerous creature. Who are you calling creepy, all right? Maybe you should settle down before using your xenophobic language. Basically, they can be described in the following way. A large head, disproportionate to their body. No hair, bottomless black eyes, gray skin. Well, how do you know they have no hair, huh? Well, you've been looking, Farmer, Peter, ba oh, Sherman. Uh, long, thin limbs. Their voices are like nothing else. These aliens are very aggressive towards people. It all starts with bright lights in the sky in your home, which move along a certain way. Then people start to blow, have a blows Bleed, have ner nervous headaches, severe headaches, and a buzz in their ears. An animal starts raging. Next, people start to have memory lapses. When they come back to normal, they find themselves in unexpected places. For example, in the middle of a field, or on a road, or in your room. Maybe you're not supposed to be there. Have you always been there? It's always a trick. You never know. For example, uh, a few kilometers away from their home, some of them have flashbacks of terrible memories, like that time my sister shoved my toothbrush down the toilet and made me brush with it. People remember terrifying experiences, like the one I just mentioned, and the aliens established control over their minds and this has affected their psyche. Also, they found the marks on the body, incisions to be exact. During palpitation, it felt like something thick, like a foreign object moving under the skin. Hmm, very unsettling if you ask me. What is this, DiGiorno's? DiGiorno's? We get, what is the saying? Um, something about shipping or blazing hot oven? I don't know. I'm going outside. Hello, hello, aliens. Would you like to bother? What was that? I, I don't like this. I do not like this. Very dark and scary, but aliens aren't scary. I'm an alien, and I'm not scary, am I? Am I scary to you? I hope I'm not scary. I don't remember this at all, actually. I don't... Re what is going on? A TV. Hello, Tivith. TV. I am losing my voice. Maybe I'm having these odd memory... Oh, God. Oh, nothing to click? Hello? Can I click? Ready. Oh, is it going to be the scene from Signs? No, it's just... Just a white thing on the TV. Oh, it's a little lady. Or man. Can't really tell. Looks like a... Can't really tell. You would be the judge of it in the comments. <laughs> TV. I mean, a uh, car. Oh, a UFO. Very, very realistic UFO right there. I'm just gonna sit down on the couch. Have a seat while I watch the movie. Hello. Wow, okay. Very nice transition there. The fade. The smooth fade. Um, the exposure is a little high. Or the contrast. I don't know what that is, really. Just see a shirt. An alien? Can't really tell. Looks like a person. 
Oh, is that Sherman? Is that Space? I don't know what's going on here, guys. I'm gonna be frank. All right, I really have no clue. I know I said I'm Clark Kent. I'm not. All right, I just I'm not mild mannered. I'm very unmannered. If that makes sense. Oh my goodness, that was odd. I don't think TVs are supposed to do that. Is there uh, something I should be doing? You know, like you know, exploring and uh, navigating and turning on my flashlight would be a great start. All right, so I think I got that. Um. Just gonna replay it or something, isn't it? Yeah, okay, just gonna replay it. Cool, cool, cool. I'm just gonna walk around, see if there's anything of v -v -v value. Oh, more pictures. And that is a dead cow. That is a very clearly photoshopped picture. I will not take that at face value. Those are more from the Grayswood farm. And this is of a uh, fish. Those are some yucky fish. Yeah, very yucky, yucky fish. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, a note on the bathroom. Why is the light flickering in here? Why is there even a light in the first place? Oh, that one, cool. Hello, farmer's note. Oh my god, so many freaking notes. This guy is like an author or something. Shakespeare over here. As a child, headaches began to bother me. They tortured me to this day. I went to the doctor another time. Now I understand what the doctor did. You can just pause it and read it if you're really that interested. Because I am not at the mo. Whoa, whoa, what do we have here? I can't really tell. It's really hard to tell. Maybe I should turn off my flashlight. Oh, a knife and some bottle and some ketchup. You know, that's always a great combo. Beautiful toilet with no water in it. That's always unsettling. Ah, oh, it's a fridge. Well, we were here before. I don't remember there being a whale. That's pretty freaking dark. Freaking darkest. Um, what am I supposed to be doing? I'd like to know my tasks. I'm assuming I've completed my tasks for the day, so I'm going back outside, if you don't mind me. Thank you, thank you. Just gonna go around. Hopefully there's nothing unsettling around the corner. Hello, hello, good morning, it is me, not Clark Kent, because I am going to find my own dad. <sighs> oh god, you really freaked me out there. I just got shivers. That was a good scarecrow right there, really scared me, except I'm not a crow, so... Okay, more lights in the sky. Hold right mouse to focus. Yeah, oh no, what is this? Oh, gee, my god, wait, oh, whoa. Uh, that is interesting, you know, I don't really expect stars to be moving like that. I'm assuming... I should be heading to my car then. If there's anything spooky, I'd like you to show yourself because I'm not afraid. I know there's gonna be an alien running across here real quick, so just watch. Three, two, one, and Bazinga! <laughs> I was right! <laughs> oh my god! That was perfect timing! Oh, I should run to the car! Okay, I'll run to the car because I apparently I am Superman. I, I can see the future and stuff. What is that? Uh, that's interesting. I don't remember leaving my clothes there, but uh, who knows? Funky, funky time. Let's go. I'd like to leave. <laughs> That was interesting. Looks like I was, oh no. I have to drive? What do you mean I have to drive? Do I have to turn on the car or something? What's going on? Why can I not drive? How do I, how do I, what, what, what's going on? Am I, why do I look so short? What's that sound? Oh, it's me starting the car. Cool, can we go? I'd like to bounce, you know? I'd like to adios. Wait, no, I shouldn't adios. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a journalist. I need to find out what's going on here. I can't just leave, but I can't just be a big baby. Oh yeah, I'm saying all this while I'm looking at a giant UFO rising to the ceiling. Hello, and as if there's a ceiling, there's no ceiling. Hello, hello, how you doing? Good to see you. Happy, 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 happy. Hope you're having a great day. I love the smiley. Oh no, uh, that's a very ominous color you got there. Orange! I like that. The RGB alien ships. You know, we gotta die for them. They're so good. Um, is if something. <laughs> oh god! I guess I am now one of them. But then I always was, since I'm Clark Kent, mild mannered Superman. Alright, um, was that it? Demo? In the full game you will find the large territory of Grayswood Farm and a full story of alien abduction. That was pretty cool! I actually liked it a lot. I'm sorry if I was really weird. I already recorded a video today and I'm really tired, but I hope you all enjoyed and this is Cenovitz, signing off! Check out this video!